Okay, everybody. So today I have a follow-up to my screen protect video that I just uploaded a couple days ago. So in that video, I actually installed this uh, very glossy finish on the screen protector, and I absolutely love it. Uh, as you can see, I had a couple of bubbles. I just didn't squeegee it well enough. I admitted in my video that I didn't do it correctly. Um, but really, the imperfections are really just limited right here. And I'm going to actually uninstall this, and then I'm going to put the anti-glare version on. And I want to do a few comparison shots of before and after uh, between the two. So let's get started. First, I need to just kind of uh, uninstall this one, clean the screen off. So this video is mo mostly focused on showing the difference between the gloss HD and the anti-glare matte finish. So let's get started. So before dust gets on it. What I did last time was spray the soapy mix as I was unpeeling it. And I'm gonna do that because it worked last time and I'm sure it'll work again. And then we will adjust and if it feels like there's not enough liquid behind there, which it doesn't feel like there's any. Okay. So we'll just put it back. Spray the outside. This was a key factor. Now I'm applying a little bit more pressure than I normally would have. And I'm doing that on purpose because I want to make sure I don't have any of those random bubbles. And I think I nailed it. Um, let's dry up some of these edges. There's So anything you can see that you can pull out, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to... down some of these edges. Oh, it looks so good, so smooth. That is nice, that is very nice. I'm actually kind of torn on which one I like better. Um, and I know there's a few things on here that'll eventually come out, but I think I did a better job installing this than I did the first one, but now I'm a little bit more comfortable. But either way, yeah, this, uh, your hand slides super easy. Uh, the gloss one, although I think it might look a little bit more premium, uh, it, does, it does have a little bit more of a tack, tacky, not like tacky as an ugly, but like kind of like a different material, uh, which I actually really like because it just made it feel almost like a really nice glass. This, on the other hand, feels like one of those e-readers and it actually feels really cool and it's smoother and the response obviously is very good. I don't want to use it too much. There is, I mean, I have my fingerprints and I'm not leaving any fingerprints behind. Uh, ooh, I can see a bubble right there. So these are the kind of things that will rear their ugly head. I am going to let this cure for a couple days. In fact, I honestly don't even think I really need to. There's no bubbles, nothing that are showing up right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it the way it is. And you guys can, you know, 
trust me that it looks good. And if for any reason it ends up looking not very good, I will do a follow-up video. But let's do a couple comparison shots between the gloss and the anti-glare.